The toxin produced by a dangerous stinging tree is comparable to a scorpion or spider spite, according to new study. Found all over eastern Australia, the dendrocnite plant is among the most toxic flora on earth, and stings can kill dogs or horses and cause excruciating pain in humans that last weeks, even months. But until now, researchers haven't been able to identify the neurotoxin the plant, also known as the Gimpy Gimpy tree secrets, until now. The team discovered the culprit is a new class of toxic mini proteins that has been named Gympytides, in honor of indigenous name for the stinging tree. The Gimpy Gimpy's leaves, stems and rubsper like fruit are densely covered in hair-like protuberances called trichomes, which are less than a fifth of an inch long. Those hairs make the leaves look inviting, gilding told, like it's a furry, friendly green plant that you'd want to rub. But when they make contact with skin, they are more like the tiny hypodermics, breaking off and injecting a painful toxin. Dr. Marina Hurley, who did her PhD work in stinging trees, said a brush with the plant, nicknamed the suicide tree, is like being burned with hot acid and electrocuted at the same time. Not only do you feel pain from where you are stung, if it's a really bad sting, within 20 minutes your lymph nodes under your arms swell and throb painfully. They feel like they are being slammed between two blocks of wood. In one historical account from the 1940s, a soldier said the pain was so bad, he had to be tied to his hospital bed for three weeks. The trichomes remain potent for decades, Hurley said, and dead, dried up specimens for a century ago can still sting. There are no real cure, the hairs are so fine that wax hair removal strips are sometimes used to yank them off. The Gimpy Gimpy, known as scientifically as Dendrocnite moroids, can grow to 10 feet tall with leaves 20 inches long. But you don't even have to touch it feel its breath. Standing near one unprotected for 20 minutes is enough to cause violent sneezing, nosebleeds and even breathing problems. The hairs can remain in the skin for months and with stings recurring if the skin is pressed hard or washed with hot or cold water. Hurley said only way she'd handle the free is wearing a dust mask and thick padded welding clothes. Although they come from a plant, the gympytides target the same pain receptors as the venom found in arachnids or cone snails. The researchers say making the gimpy gimpy a truly venomous plant. Wetter says the enduring pain may be caused by the gympytides permanently changing the sodium channels in a victim's sensory neurons, not due to fine hairs getting stuck in the skin. By understanding how this toxin works, we hope to provide better treatment to those who have been stung by the plant to ease or eliminate the pain, she said. Because the tree's toxins target a nerve cell molecule that's fundamental to our pain response. Researching them may also help unlock how to block pain receptors. It's still not clear why the Gimpy Gimpy evolved this off-putting defense. While it's toxic to humans and other animals, their leaves and fruit are a prized meal for beetles, birds and padamelons, an Australian marsupial related to wallaby.